Hey everybody, it is that time, and that time is we're going to do another review on the Gravely ZTX 42. What's the difference between this review and the past reviews? We're now at 308.8 .8 hours. So we busted 300 hours already in about 12 months that we've had this machine. And so I figured let's talk about it and I can talk about it with a bit of confidence. Um, that my experience on it will definitely steer you guys in the right direction. Let me back up a little bit, get you guys a good profile here. There is the right side showing that huge opening on the, the mower deck right here. I mean that opening is gigantic, that's a major reason why I bought this machine. No obstructions for the clippings. Three blades on that deck, fabricated deck, three blades, pumping the clippings out, amazing. Here's the front of the machine. It's a gorgeous machine, gorgeous color. It's the Gravely ZTX42. It's a compact zero turn. Here's the left side here. This machine comes with the Kohler 7000 series 24 horsepower motor V-twin. I've done nothing to it. The only problem I've had with this machine in the 300 hours that I've owned it is I had to replace the starter. The bolt, the nut came off that holds the star on that hits your, your flywheel. That came off and everything came apart. I loaded the machine up. There's a video of that. I took it to the shop. I bought it. They fixed it on the spot under warranty. No questions asked and it's been mowing ever since. I replaced a tire on the front caster wheel because I popped it. Um, I replaced a blade belt because I made it pop off a pulley when I hit a berm of dirt with one of the blades and it shredded the belt like instantly. So I put a new belt on and I put a new battery in. Let's talk about the battery. Anybody that has the Gravely ZTX42 when you go to buy yourself a new battery, which this machine's wet because I rinsed it off. I don't wash my machines, but I will rinse them off before I video them. Uh, so I rinsed it off with a garden hose. That is the big interstate battery that you're going to find in your big mowers. Let me see if I can get you a better shot. So there is the battery model number. SP-35R. Okay. This is your regular standard wet cell big boy lawn and tractor type battery. Probably find these at Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot. This is a pretty good size one. Here, just to give you a, a point of reference, thumb to pinky, all the way across. Almost, yeah, like pretty much fully extended. And then thumb to pinky, not quite. Um, there you go. There's your size. Um, pretty good size uh, battery. It's way bigger than the battery that comes on this machine. The battery that comes on this machine is super small and it's a dry cell battery. It lasted about 12 months. That's about what they're going to last. I got all 12 months out of it. But to replace it, you got to order it. Nobody stocks them. If you find a dry cell battery at like a Batteries Plus or something like that, it's not going to be the same. It's got a different mount on it. And so this way here, uh, this battery will, it's easily replaceable. The strap that comes to hold the original battery does not fit with this big tall battery. So I just put a bungee cord on it. It does clear the seat, it does not touch the seat, and there's about this much space between the battery and the seat. So you're fine. Um, let me see what else. That's it, so replace the wheel, replace the belt, replace the battery, and starter under warranty. Other than that, I have not had to do anything to this machine. I absolutely love this thing. I would absolutely buy it again if, um, if given the opportunity to buy this or buy another machine. I would definitely go for this, for what I do with the homes that I do, the residential properties that I do. Um, this is not to be compared against six and seven thousand dollar full-blown commercial mowers. Okay, this is not a full-blown commercial mower. They call this an entry-level commercial mower because of the deck being badass and the motor being big at 24 horsepower. Most residential machines 
are going to have like a 22 horsepower or 20 horsepower on a 42 inch deck. Um, this one has a slightly larger motor, has a nice comfortable seat with armrests, although I got that armrest up. Uh, has the fabricated deck um, with three blades, so there is, there is some slight differences, a little bit of upgrades. And then you would then get into the Compact Pro, which is going to be even a thicker, taller deck, uh, probably the same motor, um, probably a heavier duty frame and a heavier uh, machine. This machine wet with oil and gas, they call it wet, is like 500 pounds. I never get it really stuck and I can move this thing around easily by hand uh, if I need to. Change the oil, change the air filter regularly, never had a problem with the motor. Um, never have any problems with the pulleys, with the spindles, with the hydros, nothing. Everything's working fantastic, so I can't complain. And uh, I would definitely recommend this again, um, or purchase this again. So this is, like I said, the Gravely ZTX 42, 300 hours, slightly more. I'm looking forward to another 300 hours. Comes with a two year calendar warranty, unlimited hours. Uh, so I highly recommend this machine for anybody looking for a compact zero turn, um, definitely consider the Gravely ZTX42 with the Kohler 7000 series motor. All right, so this is Dan. Till the next 100 hours comes up, uh, wish me luck.